A number of teams hosting their annual spring games today. We start in Knoxville, where the University of Tennessee hosted its orange and white game. Took a while to see some TDs in Nayland Stadium. But here's Jarrett Garantano to Dominic Wood Anderson to get the first one of the day. White takes the lead 7-3. Then Garantano had the chance to show off a bit. Later on, here's a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer in the back of the end zone. White now up 14-3. He'd toss another to Juwan Jennings here right on the checkerboard. Garantano would go on to lead the White to a 28-10 win. And after the game, head coach Jeremy Pruitt giving his thoughts on his quarterback. He, he's working on the things that all players do is consistency, right? I think he's handled him, uh, handling a new coordinator coming in here. That hadn't been a problem. He's done it before, right? When you play quarterback, it takes everybody around you to help you have success. And some of the part about being a quarterback is getting the other guys to, to play at their highest level. So, um, you know, I think that's some of the things that Jarrett needs to work on, and I think he, he'll do that. Well, despite the chance of rain, the ETSU faithful still showing out for the annual blue and gold game today. Freshman Cam Lewis taking all the snaps at QB, fakes the handoff here and takes it and goes untouched for the first score of the game. Then in the second, Lewis showing off his playmaking ability as he dodges defenders right and left, and then eventually goes right and flings one all the way down the sideline. This one's going to find Anthony Spagnoletti, a 45-yard reception there. Now this sets up DJ Twitty as he takes the handoff and powers ahead for the touchdown. Blew up 17-0. Then in the fourth, freshman Jalen Williams takes the handoff and makes it look easy with the Jets on and everything. He'll walk into the end zone as Blue gets the victory 27-0. A defensive back Chris Armstrong was taken to the hospital following an injury in the game, but we're told he's expected to be okay. And after today's game, the Bucks still have room to improve. We're still not where we need to be. We're, we, we've still got a long ways to go and a lot of work to, uh, uh, to accomplish before we get ready to go play Appalachian State in the first game. A couple mistakes that I wish I had back, you know, of course, it's always going to be like that. But, you know, I mean, I think overall, I mean, we did have a decent day. Offense, you know, we were able to move the ball a little bit up and down the field. We've been striving for the best, and um, during practice, we never get to hit for real. So during the scrimmage, we just laid it all out on the line today. We came through as a unit and got better.